everybody. I'm the Pigglesworth. And welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Along with Piggy. Now you know, it's a funny, funny thing. I've gotten this many diamond ore. I really haven't uh, done any mining between episodes. But I'm just terrified to break these. I don't know what it is. I mean, I always do this. I find, find tons of diamond. <laughs> but then I don't want to use it on anything. So... I've been doing some experimenting out here. Let me show you what I've been up to. My wall of trees. Now, I figured I would do this three times just to get a nice good comparison. This is the first attempt. Got that many stacks of wood and 30 saplings. And I think it was 28 that I needed. So I actually came out with two extra saplings, so that's good. And then the second time, got a bit more wood and quite a few more saplings, so that's good. Now the problem is that it's taken me so long to chop this down with stone uh, axes that I think I'm losing some resources, because after five minutes, stuff will despawn. So what I'm going to do, even though I don't want to, is I'm going to break up this diamond ore. There we go. We hit it with our fortune axe. M4. Eh. Oh well. That'll work. So I'm going to make a diamond axe, and I'm going to enchant it. And hopefully it'll have a decent enchant. And then I'm going to chop that all down. And we'll see how many logs and saplings we get. All right, everybody. It's gone. I chopped it down. And I did it with my Efficiency 4 diamond axe. So here's the results of three tests. We've already seen these two. And this one. I almost got as much wood as that. This one seems to be the best. Now, remember how in that one I got 41 saplings and that one I got 30? Well, in this run, man, what is that? 73 saplings? Yeah, that is a lot. So, I definitely think for the amount of saplings it takes to make the wall, I'm going to get at least back the amount on average. So that seems to be a really good method for getting lots of wood and chopping it real easy. Now, I had seen not too long ago a, uh, a myth-busting episode that Exuma had done about logs, and he and he, or trees, I should say. <laughs> and he had shown that uh, planting the spruce as single trees versus grouped trees, that you would get more saplings in return. And... That's good to know. I mean, you can use saplings in furnaces to cook with. But here's the thing. If you're trying to get wood, as long as you're getting back as many saplings as you're using, then, you know, you're getting a net profit of wood. And you, you have the resources to replenish. So I think I'm going to stick with my wall of wood. However, I'm not too sure that this is a good area to keep farming it. I mean, it's right in the middle of town. Now, I have been doing some work over in here. You can kind of see some of the grass is missing, and it's because I've been farming all this. Acacia, oak, dark oak, a little bit of birch. Oh, uh, where did it go? This is some spruce I had left over, and then jungle wood. So I'm kind of starting to, to, you know, gather up wood for builds and stuff later, but I think what I'm really going to do is I'm going to set up way over here a permanent tree farm. And in true piggy style, it can't just be a bunch of trees growing to chop down. It has to have a theme, just like our mine shaft. You know, this totally pointless build to make it look great while we dig a hole in the ground. That's just the way I roll. So, over here, I've started uh, clearing out the area. Now, if you're playing on this seed and you come over to this side of the mountain, you're going to notice... There are some hills and stuff that I don't have. Well, that's because I've dug them all out. Let's see here. So there's some random junk we got over here. And there's all the dirt that I've removed from this area. So I've kind of got the beginnings of an area that I can start planting trees in mass. And I like the fact that it's over by a river because of the theme I'm going to use. I'm going to make a, uh, a little base of operations over here. It's going to have... I got some water that I'm going to make, like a river coming down. It's going to come to a water wheel. 
and the water wheel is going to go uh, to a structure that's going to be like, um, man, I can't even think of what they call it. Oh, <laughs> I hate it when this happens. A wood mill. That's what I'm looking for. You know, one of those big things where they stick logs like they chop down the tree and it pulls all the bark off, chops off all the limbs, and it chops it up into planks. Well, I'm not really going to make a, a machine that does that, but I'm going to make a structure that looks like that's what's happening. You know, just so there's a bit of a theme over here. Not just a bunch of trees growing in boring fashion. So, I'm going to unload some of this junk I've got, and then I'm going to meet you up on top of the mountain and show you what I've been up to. Hey everybody, here I am up on top of the mountain. Check this view out. Not bad, not bad, but we're definitely going to improve it over time. So here's what I'm thinking about doing. You know, I want water to go all the way down to run uh, the water wheel. But it needs to make sense where it's coming from, at least in my head. So I thought, you know, put a little pond right in here, but the pond has to get water from somewhere, right? So then I started digging a trench, and I got a little out of hand. That happens. But I dug two trenches. So I got one coming up through here to this little area. And it kind of goes over this way and down there. Now what I've been doing is kind of mixing up the ground with gravel and leaving some of the stone showing. All this grass that you see, it's going to turn into dirt when the, you know, when the water covers it. So it won't look like this part. And it just kind of winds down, down in here. Put some random sand everywhere. And I got to thinking about it. You know what would look really cool? If I had some mossy cobble in there. You know, just kind of mossy cobble looking stuff as the water rolls over like it's exposed some of the rock. I don't know if any of you have ever seen a river or seen uh, rivers with waterfalls, but they have that. They have rocks with, you know, algae and different stuff growing on it. So I managed to find some vines in my little adventure earlier, uh, previous episode, and we're going to make some mossy cobble. Just like that. Isn't that cool? I'm so glad they added that in. Now you don't have to go searching forever for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of figure out some pl places that would make a little sense where, you know, maybe some mossy cobble would go. And then I'm going to start filling up water. And what's going to happen at first is up in here, this area is going to freeze. But that see, to me that makes sense because in mountains, up in the high elevation, you get the snow and the ice. But as it goes down, it starts to melt, and it makes waterfalls until it collects in the lower areas. So, I think I'm going to quickly run over here <laughs> and go to sleep, because the sun is quickly going down. And I don't know if any of y'all have noticed or not, but I have quite a few less levels than I did just a moment ago. Well, yeah. See that little house right there? Yeah, I was dropping off my stuff and I came out. Coast was clear, everything was fine, nice and quiet. And BAM! Stinking creeper. The only good thing was it didn't blow up my stuff. And since I've shut off mob griefing, it didn't blow up my house as well. But it did take my levels. So I'm going to go ahead and spread out some of this mossy cobble. And start filling up all the water. And then I'll show you what I've done. Alright everybody. Here we go. Got my two waterfalls going. Coming down to this pond. And I left a little area in the middle. Kind of like an island. I may build some kind of a custom tree. Or a little spot that I can do some fishing from. Let me show you this. I'm going to go up to the top. Skip. Whoop. Totally messed that up. <laughs> uh, but I, I came up here to the top and I put some water and then I kept doing water source blocks all the way down to get like a little waterfall kind of look. 
And some of the water source blocks up here, they just kind of randomly froze. I like how that looks. It, it almost looks like, you know, stuff is melting underneath and kind of making its way down. Now up here, it's not completely solid yet because some of these blocks, they won't freeze. And I want this to look like it's solid ice. I don't want it to look like there's a little bit of water underneath. It, it just See how that kind of looks like that? Or maybe like this. It would look like that. These little patches of blue underneath. It just it'd look weird. Drive me nuts. So, I've been waiting and waiting for these things to freeze up. And waiting for ice to freeze is like watching paint dry. Man, it seems to take forever. So, what I might do is just get me some blocks. See, I got like a little pretend ice farm going here. And chop up this ice with a silk touch pick. And I might just pop ice in there and fill it up. But I got the other side right here. And this one's cool because, you know, it little bits of it froze further down. I just like that. I like the random bleh, randomness. <laughs> oh, I can't speak. But I got something cool I'm going to try. Oh, check this out. See that down there? Yeah, let's go look at that. So I got me a boat. I've already tried to do this twice, and I have totally crashed every time. But for some reason, this boat does not like to steer very well. Let's see. Can he do it? Oh, I think I made this way too narrow. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Oh, well. That's what my boat used to be. And I built that boat out of spruce wood. And if you notice, I'm holding oak. So I don't know if that's a bug or something wrong with the game. But apparently, if you want to get oak wood, build a boat out of anything. Crash it, you'll get oak wood. So I'm going to try and show you this real quick before the sun goes down. Check that out. I know, it doesn't look like much, right? But well, watch this. Now I know the redstone looks ugly. It's okay. I'm going to build a building here later. Flip the switch. Ha ha. And the waterfall turns on. And the water goes all the way down to this area. Now this is about as far as I've gotten for the, the sawmill that we're going to build. Most of this episode I figured I would just focus on trying to get the water to work. And then at the last second I had this cool idea of making a dam. I was like, wow. I should try and do that. And I'm going to go ahead and make a tutorial to teach y'all how to make this for anybody that's interested. So, I think I better run inside so I don't get killed here. Managed to get 15 levels back. Uh, I do like the way this place looks at sunset, though. Isn't that nice? Ah, it's so pretty. And all this area just lit up. I can't wait to see what this area is going to look like when I get more stuff built. But I'm going to leave y'all with this. I want y'all to go ahead and work on uh, a little river and a pond. Get your water started to go over to that area where we're going to build our tree farm. And don't forget to take pictures of it. Send it to me on Twitter and I'll tweet it out. And remember, do not worry. Don't worry. Don't you worry if you think that it's awesome or if it's just beginner See, the cool thing is that each of us build stuff in our own way. And sometimes when we watch each other build, we get cool ideas that you just never would have thought of. You'd be surprised how many things that I've figured out just by watching other people build. So, I'm hopping this bed. Haha, <laughs> it worked. Yes. And I will catch y'all in the next episode.